Bad builders! Right. Oh, there you go. <laughs> and... So we recall out what we think are forid flies, which are basically... Uh, there's three flies in this department and they, we call them filth flies for a common name. And they basically live in kind of filth and horrible detritus and things. Fruit flies are classed as a filth fly, I believe, and filter flies. Fungus gnats sometimes go into that as well. But these are forid flies. So <laughs> we're going to look in here. In this lovely conservatory. It must have been doing the lady's head in. Let me pull that up. Let's have a look. You know what else is in there, dude? Rats. Rats. I can see the scratch marks. You can see all the scratch marks there. <laughs> a little shrill from the lady there. But you can see all the forehead flies on the sides here. Absolutely grotesque little things. Oh, there we go, it's focused. Here we go then, we're back off to the forehead fly infestation. The filth flies. And of course, it's not the lady that's got any filth. This house is beautiful, as usual. Um, the truth is, the filth is in the filthy part of the house, which is underneath the house, in the sewerage and in the drainage. So what we're going to do, we're going to go and clear all that filth out of there. We can't use insecticides because it's inside the sewer system and insecticides and water, no, 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 don't be doing that. Um, you'll be end up killing every fish in the local river system, so we don't do that. So we get rid of what the flies are feeding on, which is basically filth. And you expect that to be in a sewer system. We'll clear that all out. Then we're gonna use our drain cam and we'll have a look down there just to make sure that there's no breaks. Because if there's a broken pipe underneath there, what can be happening is the pooey water can be leaking out of a little, little uh, hole there and over time that will build up and it will get into the soil and then the forehead flies have found it the filth flies have found the filth and then they start laying their eggs and then they find the whichever way out of the system they can and in this case they were coming out of literally the gap around the manhole well one of the screw holes i think it was that goes into the into the manhole but they would have found other ways out as well it was just a matter of time they probably are finding other ways out underneath the concrete slab and then up around the tiles, out through skirting boards and things like that. But not for much longer. Watch this space. Where we'll be cleaning from is from here. We can, we're pretty certain that this is the pipe that goes up this way and then underneath the building and under the ladies' lovely conservatory and that's where the forehead flies are coming out of. Uh, we do a really thorough job when we do this. So what we're going to do, we're going to clean all this out. We're going to jet these pipes out and jet that out. We'll get this all absolutely immaculate. We'll even jet underneath the this big heavy um, manhole, cover. manhole cover. That's the word I was looking for. Well done, Rick. Um, so we're going to give this a clean. We'll jet all this out. We'll get our cameras down there just to make sure there's no other leaks. And then we'll do the same again from inside. We're doing it from this one because there's obviously lots of spray and shit basically going everywhere. We don't want that all over her lovely, uh, what's the word? Conservatory. Conservatory, <laughs> that's the word I'm looking for. So we'll do as much as we can from here and as little as we can in there. But as long as the job is clean and perfect, then we're all happy. And as long as there's no breaks when we put the camera down as well. So let's get jetting, Rick.
Dodgy builders! So what the hell? That's probably in the end That's of the, the bung. They've, they've used that instead of a bung, haven't they? It looks like That's yeah. what they've done there. Let's get the camera. Let's get the camera and have a look at it. Jesus. You need me for all the nice jobs, don't you? We'd usually do this with high pressure jetting, obviously, but this one we can't do it with because we don't want to get it all over the person's conservatory. But what we've found when we've put the camera down is pretty, uh, <coughs> yet again, guess what it is? Bad builders. <laughs> if you think we should make a little series called Bad Builders, let us know in the comments below, yeah? Um, but basically I've cleaned this all out with bleach now. This pipe here, this all was, of that's from there. all of that's come out of there. That was all full of poo and stuff like that. That's where the forage flies will have been living. And what we're gonna do now is uh, we're gonna fit a bung in there so the poo and stuff can't get down there anymore. Uh, we're gonna give it, a, we're giving it a good clean out. That's it, forage flies are gone. But truth is, if the builders had done the job right in the first place, this lady wouldn't have had all this stress and all these problems and we wouldn't have had a job, so thank you builders!